In this example, we're told to find the equation of the line shown. So we're going to find it in this form, y equals mx plus b. And we just need to get the values for m and b. And then we have the equation for the line. And we can see those, what those numbers are just by looking at the graph. Right here is the y-intercept, and that's at 3. That's our value for b. And then the slope we get by taking two points on the line, and this line is drawn, it crosses the grid points on our graph, so it's pretty easy to see. If you look at these two points, we go down 1 and over 2. So this is a rise of negative 1 and a run of 2. So the slope is negative 1 half and the y-intercept is 3. So the equation for the line is y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. And here's another example. We need to find the equation of the line shown. Again, we'll get values for the slope and the y-intercept. And the y-intercept here, you can see, is negative 2. That's our value for b. And the slope, if we pick one point and another point, and it looks like it crosses the, crosses the grid lines on our graph right there at the point 3, negative 1. But from this point, we go up 1 and over 3 to get to the next point. So our slope is the rise over the run. That's 1 over 3. So the equation for the line is y equals mx plus b. So that means we have y equals one third x minus 2. And that's our answer. That's the equation for that particular line.